Hey, welcome back. So my tip or idea for today is, what are you worried about? What are you stressed about? What's bothering you? And how does that relate to how you feel about yourself and ultimately about how you're gonna lose weight? Many of my friends, when I talk to them and we have these discussions of well for lunch and I'll say, you know, what's bothering you? What's keeping you up at night? And so my friends that are overweight, they have worries that seem to be larger than maybe mine or yours. And I think at its core is that when we tend to worry um, and we don't like either get out of our chest or write it down and burn that piece of paper or spend only five or 10 or 15 minutes on worrying about something in the future that we can't control or something in the past that's already happened, is that we again use food as comfort out of that worry. So as you look at your day, has been any, has, have there been any times in your life where you've used food to make you feel good and to eliminate that worry or concerns or fear? I think we all have, but can you do it less? Can you take this incremental step and in this walk and this journey with me together to work on that routine? So maybe if you're feeling stressed, maybe you do five push-ups or go walk around the, your office park uh, three times. Or maybe if you're stressed, uh, you'll go for a walk in the woods or go to babysit someone's dog. Think about whatever it is that's gonna be inspiring to you. What is it that bothers you at this point in the day or something that's bugging you? And that's not to say you don't have friends and you can't talk to them, but what are the things you can do to quasi distract yourself or change your routine? Because again, we're always gonna have these cues in life. Right? There's gonna be something that happens Something we do about it and then there's that reward at the end. So how do we change those three things and reshape your beliefs? And at its core, I think when we have stress, we all do different things. Everybody does. Some people go for a run at the top of the mountain. Some people go run over to get a big bag of cookies at the supermarket. So my question for you is what can you do to manage your stress better and to be able to not reach for that giant bag of chips or whatever else it is that you love, that's your passion, that's causing you this uncomfortable feeling? I find it interesting for all of us is because we feel uncomfortable, so go grab this food and invariably feel terrible after we eat this food and we keep repeating the cycle. So my offer for you today is when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling worried, do a couple simple things. Number one, breathe. It's one of the things I think we seem to forget to do in our lives. Breathe in, breathe out and do that 10 times. I also like to count backwards and I'll tell you a little bit about another practice that I do in a future video, which will probably surprise everybody, but I'm gonna talk about it. But really start looking at what do you do every day when you're in this certain situation or this certain circumstance? Because to me, life is a series of circumstances. It's only the people that can look at that circumstance at that moment in time and reshape how they're gonna change their routine. So back to the, 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 back to the symbolism. So number one, we're gonna breathe, right? Number two, maybe we'll count back from 10. Number three, go for a walk, right? Number four, sit down and take a deep breath. Number five, how about we write down what's bothering us? Number six, burn that piece of paper. Number seven, let it go. I ask people a lot in this life and I'll ask you, would you rather be right or would you rather be in love? So being right about something can get you angry. Being in love with something you can just let go of everything because that's the most important thing and that's why we're here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please share this with somebody you care about and I hope to see you feeling good about yourself and feeling healthy every day. Take care.